If this shirt color doesn't burn your eyeballs, then at least the Ethereum pump over the last 24 hours certainly will. Today we're going to look at Ethereum and its move to what I believe is going to be at least $2,800 in the near future. List some reasons why, of course, on the charts and checking out the news and then move on with how we can trade this. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Jason. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you can be updated with cryptocurrency content on the daily. YouTube has a way of shadow banning crypto content, so do make sure you hit that bell notification icon and hit all on that so you see these pop up in your feed. If you find some value from the video, don't be shy, hit the like button down below. Let's try and push the channel to 50,000 subscribers. All right, let's have a look at Ethereum. This is the Ethereum US dollar chart. We've been covering the ascending triangle and rising wedge for some time. We've broken out of both on increased volume. Now, what I'm looking at here is the decreasing volume on the way up as this was becoming more congested. It looks like accumulation was taking place and we've finally seen the confirmation, the breakout of the highs. Now I wanna have a look at the Bitcoin chart because we see an awfully familiar pattern here with the accumulation, the lowering volume through the accumulation before the mega volume breakout. And although we haven't seen the same level of interest with the Ethereum breakout, the pattern definitely has changed from the accumulation with lowering volume. So we may see a little pullback, we may not, because if we just take a look at Bitcoin, we just notice that it took off and we never saw the $20,000 level again. So we wanna keep in mind that there, it is possible to get a minor pullback. Maybe with Ethereum, we get a larger one. But if you're asking the question, is now the right time to be buying Ethereum? We've crossed all time highs. Is it too late to be buying Ethereum? Should I wait? Then if it was me, I would definitely be looking at getting in myself because the break through an all time high is a confirmation signal that we are heading to much higher ground. Now we need to be slightly cautious because we need to see it pull away from the all time high by a substantial amount, probably to a point where we begin to see a little correction and then they move again. But by that stage, the market has pushed on quite a little bit further. So what we're looking at there is a move up, a correction back to test the levels, and then we move on again. But that will take some patience. So if it was me and I hadn't bought anything, I'd be looking at here as the beginning of an accumulation zone for myself with the idea in mind that I could see a big correction. But from this point, I would still be a little cautious just in case we saw a pullback. But once we start to see the market pull away, then the base has been formed. We are grounded for our next move up, potentially to 2800. And where I'm looking at 2800 is looking back to Bitcoin and we see an explosive move out of its all time high, doubling its price to 42K. So it's previous all time high being 20,000 thereabouts. And then the all time high just surpassing 40,000 before quickly coming back. I think we could probably see a bigger push on Ethereum as the market cap is a lot lower than what we have seen this time on Bitcoin. If we look at Bitcoin as an example of where Ethereum could move to using its previous cycle, that was when it broke out in 2017, we know the breakout point was around $1,200. Bitcoin quickly rushed to $2,980. So give or take almost 3x from that all time high. This yellow horizontal line is at the old all time high in 2013. What we're trying to do here is get an idea of what may happen on Ethereum just to prepare ourselves in case of the worst case because at the end of the day, we wanna see Ethereum moving up a hell of a lot from this point. Looking further down, we see about a 30% correction on Bitcoin after it breaks through its old all time high quite sharply. And this was on news that China was banning Bitcoin. We are starting to see some of this similar news come out with India looking to ban Bitcoin. However, I think this, if it was to happen on Ethereum, could be because of the futures markets coming out for Ethereum next week. CME futures for Ethereum are set to launch on the 8th of February, and we'll get to that in the news shortly. Reason being that I could see a potential quick, sharp correction on Ethereum is looking back to Bitcoin's old all-time high in the 20,000s was at the point 
where CME futures for Bitcoin came out. And this is going to be fresh in some investors' minds. That they might think that Ethereum could also have a massive correction from that point. Times are different in the market. The cycle is up. We are in a confirmed bull market. Bitcoin is in its confirmed bull market and Ethereum now crossing its all-time high in a confirmed bull market. So times are different compared to 2017 where Bitcoin had already gone on a massive run and it was looking like it was coming to an end of its major bull market. So I think that could spook investors initially, but going forward from that, I see it as a great time to buy if we were to get a major pullback. So, so far we have two entry points, one confirmed that we have crossed old all time highs. The second is yet to be seen, but if it was to be a dip, I would definitely be taking that opportunity to be buying up more Ethereum if I hadn't already positioned myself. Now, if we needed more good news for Ethereum, Ethereum has just broken out of its double top with Bitcoin. So the ETH BTC chart, we were looking at this as a cup and handle. There's our cup and our handle. This breakout generally means we have got about that far to run. And if I use my very scientific method, we're gonna move that further up. That's gonna take us past our next resistance point of 0.054 BTC to the ETH, of course. Looking at around 0.06, so about a 6% ETH. Now. The first target is around the 0.05, a nice psychological level. 0.054 is probably where I would be considering a solid pullback from there, but we still have a solid 20% to move up from there. So if we take our measure tool where we currently sit up to this point, there's 22%. So we've got good confirmation on the ETH USD chart. We have good confirmation on the ETH BTC chart. If it was me just buying in now, I definitely like this position as double confirmation for my Ethereum position long term. The third piece of confirming news we have here is Google Trend Words. Now we saw an all time high search for Ethereum back in late December, early January. We are now seeing rising lows. So we can also chart anything that has data. We can see these lows are getting higher and higher and it looks like we are now forming another ascending triangle as we continue to make higher lows. So this is another positive for the Ethereum price, that people are beginning to search for Ethereum again. Although we're on a downtrend at the moment, we do look like we are starting to wedge and potentially get a bigger breakout, especially with CME futures coming out next week, which brings me over to the news and market sentiment. Market sentiment is increasing, 80 today, and last week was at 55. So we're definitely seeing a trend of the greed increasing. Moving across to some of the news items, we have crypto investment firm Grayscale, which we are probably familiar with now, reveals how it values Ethereum. Grayscale is looking at the new proposals on Ethereum. EIP1559, which is a fee and burn mechanism, could create a positive feedback loop for the Ether price. What that means is with the gas fees, they'll be burning those, which then reduces the supply of Ethereum, which if there continues to be the demand like we are currently seeing, could definitely increase the price of Ethereum just from simple supply and demand. Now there's a lot of positive for Bitcoin as well, and we know that if there's positive news for Bitcoin, it's most likely gonna be positive news for the ETH USD price. Visa announces pilot API for its banking partners to allow customers direct Bitcoin purchases. So Visa is set out to bridge between the digital currencies and their global network of 70 million merchants today. We are leading the network for crypto wallets with 35 crypto platforms choosing to issue with Visa. So that would be the likes of crypto.com and other crypto cards. They're using Visa. With this pilot program, we want to extend the value of Visa to our neobank and financial institution clients by providing an easy bridge to crypto assets and blockchain networks. Now they have 70 million merchants, not customers. Merchants then provide customers with a lot more features, services, products. So we could only imagine that the 70 million, if they all had two customers each, which obviously is a pretty silly idea, but just for numbers sake, there's another 140 million people that can have access to cryptocurrencies. Now, if we probably think they have over 10, then you can start to see the numbers really add up a hell of a lot. And of course, some of these customers are going to be across multiple different merchants. So with that in mind, there are still hundreds of millions of people to come on board with Visa looking to get into the digital currency space and provide 
a way for their customers to purchase cryptocurrencies. That in itself is probably one of the biggest pieces of news that I've seen in a long time for the cryptocurrency space. Now onto the CME Ether futures, we have JP Morgan trying to push the price down. So in any sort of negativity that we can see out there for Ethereum, definitely have to lean towards the banks that were probably going to try to provide that so that they can be purchasing up some ETH at cheaper prices. So huddle that ETH, especially when you have the likes of JP Morgan trying to scare the market to believe that we should see negative prices like we saw with Bitcoin futures in 2018, early 2000, late 2017 to early 2018. I don't think that's going to happen. Like I ex explained earlier with the charts, even if we did, it would be a short lived dip. ARK Invest, the famous fund run by Kathy Wood, the fund that was investing in Tesla when everyone was laughing at them. She predicts Bitcoin to hit approximately 400,000 if S&P 500 companies allocate 10% of their cash. So that's just on some pure numbers. If there was that much cash going into Bitcoin, then that's going to push up the market cap of Bitcoin in order to hit that $40,000 Bitcoin price. Now that is a 10x from where we are now, approximately $38,000 Bitcoin as I record this. So that's looking pretty sweet in terms of the market cap, seeing as Bitcoin's market cap is approximately 700 billion at the moment. That would lead us to a $7 trillion market cap, which is getting close to the market cap of gold, something that we've all been talking about for years. More positive on-chain news for Ethereum, a new address creation rate on the rise, meaning people are looking to hodl that Ethereum, taking the supply off the exchanges. So more positive news for Ethereum to be getting us to that easy price point, in my opinion, of $2,800, if not probably a quick move to three or four thousand dollar bitcoin michael saylor also reveals huge corporate interest in bitcoin as crypto conference for ceo begins michael saylor has said he's never seen so many ceos sign up to attend one of their events this is starting to remind me of 2017 when there were crypto conferences blockchain conferences everywhere around the world and they had thousands of people attending them now we see ceos attending these sort of conferences they're all online Michael Saylor and MicroStrategies say they have bought another 295 Bitcoin for 10 million on February 2nd. Firm also purchased 314 Bitcoin in January, which brings their total Bitcoin holdings up to 71,079 BTC. They currently have 1.145 billion in BTC at an average coin a purchase rate of $16,109. So even though they are still buying because they bought in so heavy earlier on at around a $10,000 Bitcoin, their average price is still well below the current market value, doubling their investment. More Bitcoin news, which of course is leading to a bigger Ethereum price. More information news from Kathy Wood, who is ARK Invest CEO. Bitcoin is far bigger idea than Apple or Amazon. So Kathy looks like she has gone pretty heavy into the research of Bitcoin, understanding that the technology behind Bitcoin could see a bigger transformation in the world's landscape compared to something like Apple or Amazon. We are now recreating the, the currency system and Bitcoin is at the center of that. She also highlights a conservative mutual fund has put $100 million into their account of Bitcoin. Now that's only 0.001 of their account, but seeing as they're conservative and very highly regulated, she believes that it is a seal of approval. So we're getting some of these massive companies starting to put tiny amounts of money into Bitcoin. And of course, $100 million does have an effect on its market, even though it is a $700 billion market cap. The supply will continue to dry up. We've seen a hell of a lot of positive signs on the charts for Ethereum versus BTC, Ethereum versus USD, BTC versus USD. Now with all of this in mind, I definitely believe we're gonna see a much higher price on Ethereum in the near future. We're looking at February as this doubling in ETH price, but I wouldn't be surprised if it took a little longer just to catch people out. So be wary of what's going on in the charts. 
stick around on the channel, subscribe if you're new here and hit the bell notification icon so you can be updated with more news coming out in cryptocurrency. Give us a like down below if you found some value from it. And just a reminder, I still have 40% off the trading course. There's a link down below. If you wanna get involved in that and join the group, do that before the 15th of February to enjoy your 40% off introductory price to the course. Thanks again for joining me on the channel, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.